We'll start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Harakakodash. The belongs to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth and have truly prepared us and is currently preparing us to go out and be the teachers to wake up the elect unto salvation, to help wake up the elect unto salvation through the Holy Spirit that, that arm us with wisdom, knowledge, and experience that they've been through in this thing that have completely edified us in the things that are to come to us. Also, greetings, salutations, and blessings unto those that give your life, freedom, and salvation and, your, um, and give up your lives and risk your lives to, to earn your salvation. Okay, and speaking on the apostles, they, they have warned us through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, through this holy Bible, through the proper understanding that these persecutions would come. Okay, and they're coming. They're going to come on a larger scale. Okay, and this is just a response to the video, Police Arresting Hebrew Israelites for Teaching the Bible. This is a topic that I always like to constantly do videos on time and time again because... Uh, this is the, the big faith tester, okay, to see how, now it's not the hour of temptation, the hour of temptation is when they, when they arrest you and they take you and they offer you that chip, well they, they force you to take that chip, you know, and whether you take it or not, but this is another thing that, that is going to require the gift of faith to endure beyond, um, Baloo, <laughs> you know, you see him get arrested one time, and I don't recall him really going out after that. You know, after after the time that he was arrested, I think he said his auntie edified him about he didn't have to go out no more, so he stopped going out. But that's not what the scriptures say. That's not what the examples of the scriptures were. All right. But anyway, so I'm gonna pull out some scriptures, and hopefully this won't be too long a video. I'll leave the link in the description and everything. But Lord willing, this will be edifying. All right. So I'm gonna start with the book of Mark. Let me get to it. Real quick, I was, you know, in the middle of going over some scripts and I was like, you know what, let me just cut the camera on. Book of Luke, chapter 14, verse, um, it's like it. Mark, I said Mark, I meant Luke though. Mark 14, and, uh, 40, bear with me one second. Mark 14, verse 46, and it says, <clears throat> let me see, um, yeah, that was from Judas, yeah, so let me get to the main point, I'm going to get straight to 46, it says, um, and they laid their hands on him and took him, okay, alright, they laid their hands on our Lord and they took him. Okay, that's when Judas snitched on Yahweh Shai, and Peter tried to um, to um, the high priest wiped at the guy and cut off his ear. All right. Go to um, Matthew. Man, I should have stayed in Matthew. Where was that? Matthew twenty-four. All right. In verse nine, it says, "And and then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and to kill you." And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And I read that because a lot of people going to bow out the faith in that moment, man. Their faith is going to run out. They're not going to have enough faith built up in them to, to keep their integrity. Lord willing, I do. Lord willing, my, the Akiyam do. You know? The elect will. All right? Um, and, and it's an important thing. Okay? It, it's so important because if you, if, you, if you consent to them by being arrested, this is just part of what has to happen. You know? You can't consent to, 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 to what they're doing. You can't be like, well, stop teaching. Because if you go back, uh, they were beaten for teaching. For, for teaching. But I'll get to that. Let me, let me slow down. Alright, so let me go over to the book of Matthew. Uh, chapter 10. It's Matthew chapter 10 verse, uh, verse verse 16. No, no, no. Yeah, verse 16. Here we go. 
Matthew 10 and 16, it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep. Sheep and the predators, okay? All right, beautiful analogy, too. It says, um, Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as Let's answer your question, uh, vocab, or vocab's question about um, uh, Aquila being in chains. Yeah, that was something that was a wise statement as a, as a serpent would be. That was wise for Peter to, to, to phrase it that way, what he, was, what he meant. It was, it was just wise for him to say it that way. It was just a wise thing. And did it not get him off at that time? Well, it is what it is. But he used got, uh, uh, subtility to, 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 to get what he needed to get, get accomplished. All right. Anyway, it says, um, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my, for my sake and for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. And when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Okay. For it is not ye that speak. But the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Okay, and brother shall deliver up brother to death. And just like Judas betrayed our Lord, he was his brother up until the point where he betrayed him, right? He was an, an apostle to the time that he, um, a disciple up until the point that he, uh, he betrayed him. Okay, even though it was written for him to play that role, still he was doing everything seemingly right up until that. Whatever else, it says, uh, and father the child and children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Okay, but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel. To the Son of Man become, yeah. To to the family of the Word, till we're told to, to the time when your house shy comes, we we'll be told when not to go out anymore. Okay, but this is gonna happen. I'm not gonna play the video. I mean, it'd be cool if I played the video, but I'm, I'm gonna just send the link. So so watch the brother's video on his page. Okay, subscribe and all of that. All right. So let me go now to the Book of Acts. Matter of fact, before I go to the book of Acts, let me go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 21. Because we had ample warnings about this would be coming. And this is what happens. And when you watch the reasoning that they gave to why they had to arrest this man, because he it appeared to be, and maybe I misunderstood, but it appeared to be because he had the word Negroes on his 12 tribe sign. And that word isn't a word that they, that you know, it's an offensive word or something. Because he had the word Negroes on, 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 the, on the board, on his, on his 12 tribes chart. BS, man. BS. Okay? BS. All right? But this is part of what we signed up for. Let's allow, we went out and started teaching. This is what we knew what would come, even unto death. Okay, let me read it. Uh, this is Luke chapter 21, uh, verse 12. It says, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you. For a testimony, settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Hey, we're going to have to freestyle through the Spirit, but according to the Spirit, okay? Don't sit up there and premeditate. Well, I'm going to just tell them. Forget about that, man. The Spirit is going to speak through you. So get familiar in, in speaking and, and, and dealing within the Spirit, okay? Because we may not be able to 
you know, say if we go to court now, we may not be able to, to speak that way. We may have to use a little strategy. But when it comes to the moment where they're persecuting you uh, uh, unto death for you, how about Shimei Shai? The speaking here, the Spirit is going to give us what to speak in that very hour. Okay? So so if you don't have faith and believe in that, man, okay, enough not to premeditate anything, enough to, to, to take the persecutions as they come, even unto death, to be beheaded or whatever else, even unto death, hey, man, you know, then then you, you get your reward for that. And those that endure to the end, you we will, Lord willing, I'm one of those, we get our reward for that. All right? For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be nor resist. Okay? I'm going to stop there. Kind of repeats what it said. Um, matter of fact, now I'm going to keep reading because this is beautiful. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kin, kin folks and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death and ye shall shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but there shall not a hair of your head perish okay in your patience possess ye your souls and let's remember when Paul was cast into prison hey the prison or was that Peter the prison door is opened up and you got to walk right out Okay, that can happen, man. It happened before. Do you have faith in what the scriptures say? Okay, can you ask for that miracle to be to be placed upon you if you're in that situation? In in prayer, you know. All right, so I'm gonna go from there. Now I'm gonna go to the Book of Acts. Go to the Book of Acts. Yeah. Acts the uh, yeah let's see. Look at Acts Acts seventeen um we'll start up at verse hmm uh, let me see real quick um. I'm going to start up at verse um, 11. Jason hath received, and, and these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying, There is another king, one Yahweh Shai. And they were upset because they were out there, um, they were out there preaching Yahweh Shai. Okay, as the king of, of Israel. Okay, and and so they were like, "Hey, man, he out there preaching that Caesar ain't the king; that they have another king, son. This one, Ea Zeus or Yahweh Shai, as it was said, you know, in the Hebrew." Right. It says, "Um, and they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And the people, just like the brother, when you watch the video, the brother was was troubling people, so they went out and snitched." And when he explained to the officers, the female officers, when he explained to them what the situation was, he said, no, 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 a woman came up to me arguing about what I was reading, and then I showed it to her and let her read it for herself, and then she understood. And she went on her way, but somebody else didn't like what was being said and was upset about it. You know? These people are going to want to place the things that we believe on us in that in, 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 as an opinion of our own as a belief of our own not because it's what it says in the scriptures because there's validity in the scriptures okay the Roman Catholic Church alone give the scriptures validity even though they they distort what it says but the book itself holds an air of, of, of truth to it but they don't know how to portray that truth out of it when we read directly out of it in its proper context people hate that because that I've heard, and plus, it's the things that they don't want to hear. It's it's bad news if you love this. Okay, so when they they're gonna try to separate this book from us, okay, because it it holds the power of 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 knowing that we're reading directly scriptures, holds the power of validity in it that what we send is valid according to the Most High God and our Lord. All right, 
It really says that? Yeah, look, right here, it really says that. Okay, but when you watch the video, you'll see those officers were there to just to take him to jail. Now, if they were looking for any reason to get him off the street, because somebody called and complained. One person. All the people standing there is not a problem, but everybody, but one person or whatever, whoever called is the problem. All right? We signed up for this. Okay? Don't try to make your way out of this or escape it. You know, you put your hand to the plow. Don't, I mean, you go into the book of uh, Matthew, the 13th chapter, and it's going to explain to you, hey, don't fall out. If you put your hand to this plow, man, you're going to be, you're going to be, uh, and, and you, you fall away, you're going you're gonna to catch many strikes, man. There's different things that will pull you out the word, but don't let it. Okay, stay, stay hold steadfast in this thing. Anyway, back in it, it says, uh, <clears throat> um, and they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they had taken security of Jason and the other, they let them go. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, you know, because of the situation where they um they told him, nah man, y'all gonna get up out of here. Okay? Before something um because before it becomes a problem. So I'm gonna go to verse uh twelve. Matter of fact, I'll just keep reading verse. Verse 11 says, And that they received the word with a readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether they, you know, talking about the church of Berea. All right. Uh, verse, 13, uh, verse 12. Therefore, many of them believed also of honorable women, which were Greeks and of men, not a few. So there were a lot of followers, man, a lot of people that believed, a lot of Jakes that believed, Israelites that believed. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge of the word, <coughs> so lucky. Now to the word of the Most High, which preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. And then immediately the brethren sent away Paul, eh, because they were stirring up a big commotion. Okay, so sometimes you gotta you gotta go to another block, man. Go to somewhere else. If the people don't receive you. Shake the dust off. Go to somewhere else. All right. Is that really what? Um, Second Timothy. Yeah. Anyway, Second Timothy. Chapter. Second mm -hmm. Timothy chapter three. <clears throat> I'm gonna start up at verse. Um, it says, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose of faith, excuse me, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity. Okay, this was a letter unto Timothy. Okay, the patience, persecutions, afflictions which came to me at Antioch and at Iconium. And at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Okay, so we're going to go through stuff. Brothers have been through situations. Brothers have been, uh, uh, you know, arrested and gotten tickets and, and fines and so on and having to go to court and all these other things, man. It's part of what comes with this ministry because we're the bearers of bad news when nobody wants to hear the bad news. But the truth is, it's bad news coming. For those of you that don't get right, those of you Israelites that don't get right, okay? And then when I, when I say Israelites, I mean those that believe, those that may be confusing the faces that believe, okay, wholeheartedly on this word. And enough that your faith moves you to action with it, okay? It says, uh, and yea, all that we live godly in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall suffer persecutions, Okay, we're going to suffer persecutions. Okay, so men are, men are, they're going to try to take the men of the Lord off the street. They're going to have to. Okay, they're going to have to. That's what the scriptures say. And if you look at how this word is spreading like a wildfire, like when we were teaching on the strip, on the main part of the strip down in, you know, in, in Vegas, out here in Vegas, hey, um, 
they didn't like it, man. They had to figure out a way for us to get off the street. And they would come time and time again, but they didn't have anything to do it. Then once that one October shooting thing happened across from the Mandalay Bay, once that happened, that was their excuse of, nope, street performers can't stand around. You can't, you, you can't have uh, signs and all that. You can't have that. You got to walk. You can, have, you can have your costumes or whatever you want. Signs, but you got to keep moving. You can't post up in one spot. Okay, and that was a decree that they wrote uh, and why we're not on the main part of the strip anymore. But we have been there for so long, so many people have called us, but they but they got cameras and they can see that. We don't, like I told the cop before, we don't call anybody over to, to bother them. They come over to bother us. We're just reading, and if you stop and if you ask a question, we'll answer it if we feel, is you know, we'll engage if you come over with, with, with sincerity. Okay? So anyway, um, let me get to um, uh, Revelation. Yeah, I gotta, gotta bring this one out in Revelation. Matter of fact, it forced me to this one, which this wasn't the one I was gonna grab. I'm gonna get the other one also. The one I was gonna grab is uh, the second chapter, but since it went straight to the 20th chapter, I'm gonna read it. Revelation chapter 20, in verse four, it says, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark in their forehead or in their hand didn't take the mark of the beast and do it the hour of temptation okay and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years okay so they're going they're going to live you know with, with our we're going to live with our lord man okay we're going to live in righteousness in the kingdom of heaven okay all right but this is the one i wanted and i thought about that one when it was a spirit that made it come up but this was the one that i want to get revelation chapter 2 verse 10 it says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? Be faithful unto death, and he will give you a crown of life, man. Okay? It's, it's vital if you want to make it. You got to, so in this time, before this persecution happens, before we're cast into prisons and, and beheaded and, and whatever else that can come upon us, whatever persecutions come upon us, we have to have our faith built up, man. We have to be working to make sure our faith is built up to such a level that nothing can move us from, from the Lord, the love of our Lord. All right? So I'm going to go to one more scripture and I'm going to close out. I don't want to leave it sorely on a, on a bad note because it's too much good that comes out of the, the suffering. Okay? So I'm going to just go to Matthew. Yeah, and I'll read this. And then there's plenty of scriptures on these topics. But I'm going to um, go to this one. Um, Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. This man here was, you know, this brother here was persecuted for righteousness sake. Okay? Persecuted for righteousness sake. For, 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 for warning the people and telling the people what, what was coming to the earth. For prophesying unto them about the evils that were coming. And edifying them about who the devil is and, and the the works that threw a righteous order upon the, on the planet. But first he had to to, to kill a lot of people, okay? Our Lord has to kill a lot of people, all the wicked off the earth, to subdue all the nations. Okay? It says, uh, For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets that were before you. So, this is the job of a prophet. That's why Jonah ran. He knew. Jonah ran and didn't want to do the work of the Lord because he knew the, 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 the end of a prophet was to be killed. 
Okay? And he ran for good reason, but you can't run from it. This this is the one time where we're going to go through this stuff, but we're going to get the victory. Even the victory over death. Even if we're beheaded and killed, we still get the victory over death. We get the new bodies with the, the dead and, and, and Yahweh Shah shall rise first. And we're going to take the kingdom headed by our Lord. All right, so endure these persecutions, man. There's more and more of it coming. I always like to put these out, you know, ever so often. As often as I as it comes to my spirit, because or when I see something like this go down, because it, you know they don't have a reason, a real viable reason, because he had the word Negro on his twelve tribe, tribes chart. Really, you see the things that vocab is trying to trying to get the men of the Lord to say. We see we see your deceptive works, man. We know what CNN has done. Now they're just boys over there in Covington. You know, they're just boys now. But they're talking shit back. Okay. It's funny how these things work. But the Most High ain't going to have no pity on you people. Alright. We're praying and in, 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 in showing our faith through our works. That he have uh, uh, mercy upon us. As he said he would. So anyway with that I'm going to close out. Giving all praise and glory unto you. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Arukakudash. Double honors to the apostles at the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations. <clears throat> Much love unto the elect that I say shalom.